Let me know your favorite VeggieTales character and Brad Paisley song in the comments. Well, today we are going to be talking about settings. So let's say that you have a bunch of little kids on your server that are complaining that they hate your scoreboard or something because it's ugly. Like, look at this garbage. Oh, roasted. But what if we added a way for players to toggle their scoreboard on and off or any other setting you could possibly imagine? Well, now you can with the Settings Plus plugin. So today we'll be taking a look at this plugin and then I'll give my thoughts on the plugin at the end since it is a premium plugin. I was given a free license for making this video, but all thoughts will be completely my own, so I can be as brutal as I want. Anyways, I've wasted enough of your time, so let's get crafting. Okay, so the first thing that you will actually need to do is download Settings Plus, so you can get it here on Built by Bit. So I'm just going to go click Download Now, and then you want to head over to your server, go into your File Manager, look for your Plugins folder, and then just go ahead and drag and drop that jar in there. It's that easy. Make sure you're running a paper server, obviously. And then you can start your server up or restart it technically too. That works too. All right, there we go. So our server has started up. So if we go ahead and type PL in console, we can see we have settings plus and we have tab because I'm going to show you how to do like with the scoreboard, like I said earlier. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump in game and check it out. All right, so here we are in game. So I'm just going to go ahead and type slash settings, and then that will open up the default settings menu that comes with the plugin. So by default, we got this general settings, and then we can see there's a previous page, a close, and then a next page. Unfortunately, we, we don't have that set up, so that doesn't work yet. But let's just go ahead and look at our general settings. So right here we have fly mode. So you kind of need essentials for some of the source. So this is going to execute like slash fly on. This will execute slash fly off. And then right here for speed, so this is another thing with essentials. We got God mode as well. I think that's through like essentials again. I, I don't have essentials on. I probably should have put essentials on the server. And then we also have invisibility mode, so you can toggle invisibility. This executes commands basically is how this works. So keep that in mind. All right, so now that's pretty much all there is. We can look at a couple commands. So there's slash SP reload. There's SP help so you can view the help menu and there is the show menu so that's all your available menus and then the, the menu that just opens up the slash settings menu so yeah that's pretty much all you need to know about the commands and the plugin by default now let's go ahead and take a look at the configuration all right so once we are on our server we can go into our file manager go into our plugins folder and then there will be this settings plus folder you'll just want to go in there and then in here we have a couple different things. So let's just go ahead and take a look at all this stuff. So we got config, data file, lang, main menu, and then the pages folder. So right here in our config, this is pretty simple. It's, so right here is our storage method. So YML, this is basically just going to be like a human readable file and it'll store it like locally on the server. If you want to also use like MySQL to link up multiple servers under like a bungee cord network, you could do that as well. And then you can also change the prefix for the plugin. And then over here in our data file, so this is basically just my data for what I did in my different settings. So that's how it stores it. And then right here, we got our lang fi file. There's really not much to talk about here. And then we got our main menu.yml. So this is kind of, where you configure the whole main menu. Right here, you got your inventory. So if you wanted to make it a custom GUI, like in my last video, you could do that. And then you can also change your filler. So this is like everything that you haven't listed. So you don't have to go through and say like, oh, I want this right here, this right here, this right here. You just specify a filler. And then you can specify the next page. And then you can also specify the previous page. And did you know the reason they use arrows is because it's like an arrow pointing this way, an arrow pointing that way. Isn't that so cool? And so we also have the ability to close it with a magma cream. Hot take, barriers work better here. I'm going to make it a barrier, you know? I'll show you how to configure stuff. Look, I need to make a song like, oh, I love to configure. Okay, and then we also have our items right here. So this is what's going to open that other settings menu, remember? So right here, this is the, the page of the settings. So that's settings.yml. So we'll take a look at that in a second. And then you just configure this how you like for it. And some of the stuff is pretty easy to understand because I'm a good YouTuber, I'll explain it all. So page, this is on page one. You can make multiple pages with this plugin. So that's good. And then slot 10. So remember it starts at zero or maybe it starts at one in this plugin. I don't even know. <laughs> it's probably something I should know. But 
yeah, slot 10. And then this is the material, so it'll be a redstone. This is the display name of it. This is the file. This is the permission needed to open that. So you can give that with like luck perms. And then this is the amount of the item. So it's at one right now. It won't show like a little text next to it with the number. And then here's the Lord. This is like the stuff that'll appear under the name. There you go, I'm a good YouTuber, okay? I, I explained all that stuff. And then right here we have the pages folder. So this is where you can make infinite pages, you know, just go crazy with your imagination. So let's just take a look at the settings.yml. We can see like, this is your settings. So there's this little placeholder for the page so you can have multiple pages. That's pretty cool, really. Like that's like some top level stuff right there. And then you can also do like another filler. And then this is like the same next page, previous page, closed stuff. And then you also have a go back one that's new. But then here are your actual settings. So this is like, this is the meat of the plugin, you know? So right here we got setting ID number one. So this is the one for fly mode. So we can see that there are these different options for it. So option number one is to have your fly off. So you can specify like the command, which is slash fly off, and then that will be executed from a player. That's what command type player means. You could also put like console there and then you can execute it from the console. And I assume that you could use the percentage sign player percentage sign placeholder with that without even using placeholder API because that's built into most plugins. If it's something else, then why is it something else? I, I probably should have messed around with that, but I didn't, I didn't have time. So I already spent like a long time preparing for this video anyways. Anyways, I need water. I'm going to go get water. All right, I'm back. I just got some water. All right, where were we? So we got right here, number two. So this is the other option. So this is going to turn the fly on and then it's going to make it look like it's a green dye underneath it. And then right here for our second setting, which was that speed boost, we can see that it's in slot 12. So that's two slots over because 12 minus 10, the change in that is two simple math and then there's also this default option value id so this is the one by default for players that don't even press that so number one is just going to be normal speed so you want like number one to basically be like the default value i guess i know what i'm talking about and then you can also specify different permissions for these so if you don't want people to like be speeding around then you can specify that right there and then as we can see there aren't just like booleans if you don't know what a boolean is it's like true, false, or just like on, off. So we can have like multiple different settings per ID, ID or like per thing, setting, you know? You can just like go crazy, imagination, and like whoosh, 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 sparkles, and like whoosh, whoosh, lasers, and all that, that good stuff with this plugin. So yeah, then we also got God mode. So you can like, you know, like sparkles and lasers again, right? Just whoosh, 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 whoosh. Okay, so we got like and then you can go invisible like whoosh, you can't see me i'm invisible you can't see me let's now go ahead and like make our own settings so remember back to the the scoreboard see look, look how ugly that is it's just gross it's bad it's like yuck all the colors are just bad it's not modern looking at all so let's turn it off so what we're going to do is we're going to make another settings page so i'm just going to go ahead and going to copy this file and we'll rename it to something like options because that's not confusing at all. So now what we need to do before we even edit that is we're going to go into our main menu.yml and then you see this item right here. We're just going to copy all of it, including the one, but not the items. We don't need to copy that. And then we just want to paste it in right there. And then we're going to change the ID to two. And then the page will keep that as one. And then the slot, we want to move that over. We can move it over by two or move it over by one. I'll just move it over by two. So that way, a little bit of space in between there because that doesn't hurt. And then we want to change the material. Do whatever you want, dirt. I want dirt. And then let's go ahead and make the display name. Tell me your favorite VeggieTales character and Brad Paisley song in the comments. There we go. And now this is the most important part is the settings page name. So remember we made that options because that's not confusing at all. And then you can change the permission. You can change whatever you want. Like, you know, go crazy. Hearts content, imagination. There we go. So we edited this file. You can go ahead and save that with the keyboard shortcut, control S. And then inside of the pages, we got our options.yml from earlier. And we can change the, the name of it. But what we're going to do is we'll, we'll leave all this because we want to keep it like 
consistent throughout. So if you just have like all this stuff everywhere, then it's not going to make sense. But settings ID one. So we don't want this to be fly anymore. We want to make this to disable our scoreboard. So scoreboard. And then I think we have to do that again. Scoreboard. And then we will want to make option ID number one. We don't need a permission for that. We want anybody to be able to disable it. And then the command, we will make that tab scoreboard on lime die no permission item so you can specify an item right here if they don't have permission for it but since the permission is non-existent we don't even need this so i'm just going to get rid of it and then for number two same thing with the permission we want that to be we'll make that tab score board off and then i, I messed up okay i made i make mistakes i'm human that's what makes me real. There we go. Look at that. That's pink. I'm an idiot. I don't like bucket color codes, okay? I like hex color codes. There we go. You, you like that? Is that better? So now we're just going to go ahead and try this, okay? So, so yeah, we just want to slash SP reload. And now what you want to do is like, well, I just need to open my settings menu now, right? And then we see our dirt. <laughs> Make sure you do that. There we go. So right here, we got our scoreboard. We can change the item if we want. But if I go on, see it's on right now, but then if I click that, it turns it off. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Just like. That's so cool. So let's go ahead and how about we make a, let's, let's do a boss bar now. Oh no, I have an ugly looking boss bar now. How do I get rid of it? Well, we can make another setting to disable that. All right, there, there's so much you can do with this plugin. This is just an example of what you can do. So right here, we got our options, right? And let's just go down to speed boost right here. And we're going to get rid of speed boost and we'll say, well, disable boss bar. And then you can make the display name disable boss bar. I don't really know the difference between these. There we go. And then let's make the item. Let's make it. Let's make it a grass block because that's all I could think of. And because like, you know, like there's grass in the country and then Brad Paisley, he makes like country songs. So makes sense. So let's make number one. We will make this. Give her that permission. You can have permission because I'm so genuine. Like you can do whatever you want. Lossy's fair. Commands tab boss bar off. And then that's command type player. And then down here. So then we want to make that lime die. And then we will make this just say like on. And then number two. Get rid of the permission because like, you know, I'm genuine. You can do whatever you want. You, I'll just give away free ranks. No, we don't even have ranks. We don't have crates. We, we don't have any pay to win. We literally pay you to play the server. No, there's no money. We hate money. We're, we're genuine like that. Okay, so tab boss bar off. Bam, look at that. I know what I'm doing. And then right here, we'll make that a red die. We'll make that red and just say off. And then we will obviously want to get rid of the third one because it's a boolean it's like it's on or off it can't be a third setting and now when i sp reload it can't can't type it with caps there we go so now i sp reloaded and now when i do settings and i go into right here here we go we got our disable boss bar bam look at that it turned it off but it doesn't turn it back on <laughs> wait wait let's fix that let's let's see if we can fix that it's like oh shoot no it's not scroll oh gosh my computer no don't die, computer. I love you. Oh, because I put tab boss bar off. It's supposed to be tab boss boss bar on. I'm an idiot. There we go. Look at that. SP reload. And then I have to go settings. And then go here. Disable boss bar. I, 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 my settings were messed up. But there we go. So now I can like, it's on, it's off. It's on and it's off. It's hot and it's cold. You're in and you're out. You're up and you're down. Okay, well that's all I'm I'm doing. Now you know like how this plugin works. You know like how you can customize it. Oh, I oh yeah, wiki, wiki. It's time for wiki wiki. What? Wiki wiki. All right, so here is the wiki. 
So on this wiki, you can get great information about how to use the plugin, how to live your life better. So we got an overview of the plugin. So it's a powerful and user-friendly plugin designed to enhance your Minecraft server experience. And then right here, we got some features. We got dynamic pages, customizable settings, permission-based access, visual feedback, command-based toggles, real-time synchronization, localization and language. So take that people who think you shouldn't get this plugin, get this plugin. Like we, got, we even got flexible data saving. And then here's the installation guide. I already went over that. We got commands. I already went over all these except for, I, I, I kind of went over that. I didn't go over, like you can specify the name. And then we got permissions right here. So that's just like the admin permission. And then here is your default config.yml. You can learn how to configure this more and you can even learn to create items. You can just like, you can play God and like create I, any item you want. And then you can even learn to configure pages. I kind of already touched on this though. All right, well, that's it. Goodbye. Okay, so here's the part of the video where I give my thoughts on the plugin. So first of all, I do like how simple it is to set up and use. I've been doing enough of these videos to know that there's going to be some no lifer who is going to comment something like, can't you just do this with deluxe menus? And technically you could, but it's much simpler and efficient to do it through a plugin like this. And if you have Bungie Cord, then you can link up your settings with MySQL, meaning you can have global settings. Some things I like about this plugin are that you can custom customize everything about it. You can easily add more pages and all the global settings stuff. Now, I typically like to look and see if there are any other similar plugins and I found one called Player Settings and it is free. It seems very similar to Settings Plus. So since Settings Plus is premium, there are going to need to be a few more features to make it worth the price tag of $7. I know it's only $7, but when you're starting up a server, it all adds up. I mean, you have to pay for hosting, developers, plugins, food, and my OnlyFans. So you have to be very conservative with what you buy. Now, granted, this plugin is very new, so I'm hoping to see many more updates in the coming future, but overall, I have to admit that I like this plugin. But what do you think about this plugin? Let me know in the comments below, or like I said in the beginning, just tell me your favorite VeggieTales character and Brad Paisley song. If you need help with this plugin, be sure to join my Discord server, or you can just chat with me there. You can also check out both of my Minecraft servers because they are fantastic. Okay, well, that's all I have for today. Until next time, I will see you on the other side, and happy crafting. Microphones, microphones, everybody loves microphones, microphones, phones that are micro.